Guys, it's 2018. I shouldn't have to tell you to smash that subscribe button if you are new to this channel. Alright, because we're trying to reach 100 subscribers before April 7th, which is my one year anniversary. If we do that, I will do a Rocky Mountain Oyster Challenge live on camera. Now let's roll the intro. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome to the video. So, you've probably seen the thumbnail and the title of this video. We're going to review the Ghost Legend pre-workout. Uh, there's a lot of, you know, hype around this product. You can see a lot of big YouTubers. Basically, anyone who's associated with Alpha Elite has a discount code, it seems, for this. So, they all take it. So, I figured I'll go get a container for myself, put a review out there, and, you know, let's see what it's like. So, the first thing I'm going to say about this uh, Ghost Legend is when you open it up, there's actually a little slot here up in the top. It's kind of hard to get your spoon back in there, but the spoon or the scoop is actually like sitting on top, so you don't have to search for it. So that's one convenient thing about this product. Uh, I'll give them credit for that. Next point I'd like to address with this product is the selling point. Um, I got it at GNC for $45 um, online. On their website, it goes for $45, so I wasn't saving any money or, you know, whatever. But there are a ton of discount codes, and like I said, it seems like everyone who's associated with Alpha Elite has a discount code for this product. Even though 20%, you know, that's one-fifth, you're going to save like nine bucks. So it would be like 36. So this is still a tad on the expensive side for a pre-workout. All right, guys, a couple things here about this pre-workout is on the back here, I don't know how this is going to focus because I don't have my other camera for this, but... They actually have everything that the product has. There's no, you know, formula or whatever that's called where they don't disclose what's in it. Um, it has about 200 milligrams of caffeine. So this puts it right in the mid-range of pre-workouts. Um, I got a pretty good boost from it, you know, and then it has all the other stuff. Uh, the only thing this doesn't actually have, at least I don't see it on here, is creatine. So most pre-workouts come with creatine. So let me double check here. There's no creatine. All right, so most pre-workouts, they come with creatine packed in them, but this one doesn't, so you'd have to pick up creatine supplement. Flavor-wise, uh, I got sour watermelon. I do believe there is one other one, but uh, I chose sour watermelon, Warheads flavor, because I like sour candy. Um, it does taste exactly like a sour watermelon Warhead, so I'm going to give them credit for that. The only thing is, if you don't dilute it with enough water, it's really, really sour, which isn't convenient when you just drink it for a pre-workout, at least in my opinion. Um, I like to be able to drink my pre-workout quickly with as little water as possible, but if I mix it with too little water, then it was too sour and it was, I couldn't get it all down. So um, that's the only bad thing about this product. Um, like I said, the container is pretty ingenious. Um, you know, it lacks creatine, a uh, decent amount of caffeine, um, and the flavor is pretty good. And for the $45 selling point, you're basically paying for the fact that it's Warhead flavored. That's all this product is, guys. Uh, you're paying for the name. There's better pre-workouts out there and similar pre-workouts for literally half the price. Um, I'd recommend this product to you guys if, you know, you have some extra money or if you just want to try it. And even if you use a discount code, like I said, you're still paying around $35. So that's a tad expensive for just a pre-workout product. Overall, if the price wasn't so high, I'd give this a higher review because I did like the flavor, like I said, as long as I put enough water in it. And the container is pretty cool. But because the price point's so high, there's it doesn't make any sense to give this a really high rating. So scale of one to ten guys, I'd give this a seven. You know, slightly above a mid-range product. Like I said, it's only good really if you has some extra money laying around you just want to try the warhead because that's all you're paying for so i hope you guys enjoyed this quick review remember to comment like and subscribe we gotta grow the pound Hurr!